engage and impact others through motivational speaking, leadership, skill building, facilitation, and coaching. Hey, would you please join me in welcoming Derek Depri. Derek. So people are going to make excuses all the time. So when is the right time to begin? Right now. Until they actually said yes to give me that opportunity by stepping up and doing it afraid. But how do you, how can you be a speaker? You froze on stage. I saw somebody do it, Simon Sinek. I said, I want to do that. I don't know how. I froze multiple times, but I did it by raising a hand and doing it afraid. Right. <laughs> I was focused. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Tails. You're the winner of the mistake. Nice to meet you. I heard ABR, 8% retention. So, what we're gonna do is the Hawaii reading. Here, really here. Here or there. Here. But I just can't execute. I wanna eat healthy with the brownies in my teeth every single day, right? The next thing we have American Girl Dolls. Anybody play American Girl Dolls before? Yeah. That's challenging. <laughs> 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 that little button, you think, guys, you think this is hard? The button on those things. And then we did a sleepover. They want to sleep over in the basement. Okay? Well, we don't have a really cool basement. <laughs> <laughs> My oldest daughter, as she's about to close her eyes, she looked at me and she said, Daddy, that was the best day ever. And that to me was powerful. You're going to have your best day ever over and over and over. You want to write a book, but you flunked your ACT miserably. And 11 out of 36 on reading, there's no way. And I get to school, and you know, the ones I got the good scores are bragging about it. I'm saying, yeah, this is cool. I got 26, 27, I got a 35, I got a 34. Derek, what did you get? I lied and I said a 25. Come back, what'd you get there? Oh, lied, 25, 26, whatever, depending who I talk to. <laughs> so I took it again. What if I'm the last speaker you ever hear? This is it. No professor, no manager, no mentor. I'm the last speaker right now that you ever hear. What deeply matters to you? I want to take that one step further. Think you're, you're 82 years old right now. How would you feel at 82 if you actually made time for what matters to you? So take a moment with your values in mind, write down your statement of passion and then maybe turn it into a question. Eric's presentation is the passion he puts into and it. It was incredible. I mean, it was very moving. I am so inspired to go do what I've always been wanting to do now. I have been to a lot of seminars and let me tell you this was the best seminar ever. Give some great advice on how to stay true to your values and where you want to go. Really helped me understand where I am today with my organization, where I want to be, and really give me a uh, guidance and some a path to get where we want to go in the future. Using uh, car terminology and using gears to shift really makes sense to me. Uh, I would highly recommend this for any business, personal growth. Derek, is that you are going to want to be engaged. These are not sessions where you come and you sit and you listen for an hour and then you leave the room excited and that excitement dwindles down as soon as you walk out. This is something where you come, you are engaged in the conversation, you leave the workshop and you are fully equipped to take your environment by storm. And the crash was at Marquette University. I was working for Tom Crean. Coach Crean comes into the office one morning, and it was the day of our, our, our annual basketball banquet, where you have these millionaires in the crowd. Dwayne Wade was there. Digger Phelps was in the audience. And Coach Crean just runs to the office. I think he had just dropped his kids off from school. He said, Derek, you're going to give out an award tonight. And it's going to be the Hit the Deck Award, and it's going to go to a, one of our players, Joe Chapman. And I said, yeah, Coach, I got this. 
And then he kept walking away and I was just freaking out. I was terrified. I didn't speak in front of people and I absolutely hated it. So the moment came, it was 7.40 p.m. and Coach Crean announces my bio and my name and Derek's gonna give out the Hit the Deck Award. So I get up on stage and I completely froze. All I did is I looked down, forgot everything I was gonna say and I said, and the award goes to Joe Chapman. That's all I said. And I was completely devastated and crushed. I went back to my table Everybody was looking down, nobody would give me eye contact. I just wanted to crawl in a hole. Raise your hand if you have a fear. Raise your other hand if you have two fears. Put your foot in if you have three. You see, we all have fears. It's a science and art museum. And we were there last year. And we're in Nicole's art studio. And my wife looks at me and she says, Derek, you look so bored. And I said, I'm sorry about that. I just don't understand why. And I was kind of mumbling that, guys, you know what I mean. Just mumbling that. And she says, I know why you're bored. You're bored because you don't care about what she's doing. Ellie's making these projects. All you care about, you're all happy and excited when you're writing and you're doing your speaking thing. You need to care about the dream of her too. You made the right decision. You're in good hands. People here will care about you from today until where you are 15 plus years from now. A bunch of people came up after and said, you know what, I've never thought about my passions before. I don't even know what my core values are. I've never thought about my vision before. I'm retired and I'm on to the next chapter of my life and I need to redo this over again if I already had those things. Pursue personal growth, take responsibility, for the energy that you bring to all the places that you go. And number three, do it afraid. Thank you.